Hi, this is Crypto Guy in South Africa. So today I'm going to be talking about a wallet um, that's made specifically for Ledger. So many, many people out there prefer to have their cryptocurrency on a Ledger. And it's no different when you're coming to Tron, you want it on a Ledger. We used to use a TronScan desktop version to do this, but that has been deprecated now. And now you can also use the Ledger on TronScan website. But there's still many people looking for a desktop option. So today I'm going to show you a desktop option for Ledger that has been developed by another SR crypto chain. And we're gonna have a look and see, you know, how you can use this Ledger and how it works. So basically you can go to this link over here, you can download, I'll make this link available on the video underneath. And then you can download the version you want. So you can see it's available in Windows, Mac, Linux. And then once you've downloaded, so I've already downloaded over here. So let me just go here, I'm gonna extract it. Okay, this is releasing the beta version. So this is the first release, but you can use it. I'm gonna go through it now and show you some of its features and what you can do with it. So once you've got it there and it's unpacked, you can just go in, you find the Tron Ledger over here, the application, and then you open it, or you run it as administrator, whichever one you feel comfortable with. All right. Now I've already got my Nano plugged in or my Ledger wallet plugged in and it's basically picking up the wallets from here. I can maximize and it's picking up the wallets. So one very neat, your nice feature about this um, using this Ledger is you can have more than one wallet on here. So currently it shows three. The first top two I've used, the bottom one I haven't used yet. So if I open that wallet, then I can start using it. And then next time I come to the screen, there'll be another one at the bottom. So you can have as many Tron wallets you, as you'd like on the Ledger wallet, whereas if you use the Ledger on TronScan, you can only basically have one. It doesn't give you an option to have multiple. So that's really a unique feature added to this desktop version. Then we can go in. So I'm gonna say open wallet. Then it's gonna say, please confirm on the device. So then I have to say yes or no on the device. And then confirm and we'll then go into the wallet. Now, when you lo log into the wallet, you see on the top right, you'll get a, a warning. So basically what this warning on the top right is saying that, that this has really actually been made with a newer version of the Ledger software. Um, it has been made already. The software has been submitted to Ledger, but they obviously haven't released it yet but you can still use it. There's just certain functionality that isn't available if you're on a lower version, or you could always obviously update your ledger firmware manually, or you gotta wait for the ledger team to release it. So I'm just gonna say no, because I know quite a bit of the features that I would like to use is gonna be available. So as you can see from the top here, you got your bandwidth, you got your energy, you got your Tron power, everything that you're used to. You can click over here, refresh. If you wanna log out, you can log out over here. Um, then over here, we've got our TRX balance, we've got some account information, we've got our wallet, we can freeze, unfreeze, and then we can send TRX. Then over here, we've got our tokens. So it shows you all the tokens over here. Now what is nice is it works out the value, so it gets it from the DEX and it works out the value. It also supports TRC20 and TRC10. The TRC20, whatever you would see on TransCan, will show over here. Um, then from a transactions perspective, you can see all transactions coming in and out. Okay, so just to give you an idea, you know, I've got five TRX, we can freeze just to show you some of your basic functionality. So I can say, hey, let's freeze two. I can say for bandwidth or energy, I can say I confirm, then we say freeze. Then it'll ask me to confirm on my device. And then say yes. And there we go, successful transaction. So I've frozen two more and then it updates accordingly. Uh, we can also send tokens to another address or anything like that. Um, all you have to do then is click send, choose the address, choose which token, and then send it from there. I'm not going to do that right now, but you can do that. And then let's have a look at one of the other tabs. Then you can choose to vote. So you can say, all right, I wish to vote all in crypto chain. You can vote there, submit all four, and then you can say submit votes. And again, it'll ask you on your ledger device and you go and you ask. Or you can vote for whoever else you want to vote for. You can reset your votes, you get your total votes, you get a countdown to the next round. So you get quite a lot of the same information you get from TransCan, except it's 
enabled for your ledger and it's made just for your ledger wallet. Um, other functionality, there is the exchange, that's so a bank or exchange, you can come in here, you can trade. Now for you to use the functionality here, you will need to have an updated firmware ledger. So you'll either have to wait for the update or update the firmware manually. And same with some exchange features here that we can use. But with the current firmware available from Ledger, without any manual updates, you should be able to come in here, use it, send tokens, especially TRC-10, um, be able to freeze, unfreeze, send TRX, and vote. The only things you would really need the firmware update for is to do TRC-20 transactions and to do some exchange features. But other than that, you know, you can do everything you require from here, um, a nifty little wallet that you can use and yeah, take it from there. And then what I can do then is I can log off. And again, it will then show all the wallets.